All right, here we have a problem, the 4r squared minus 23rs plus 15s squared, and we're supposed to factor this. So our first rule of factoring is always to pull out a GCF if we have one. In this case, we do not. Now we have three terms, but the first coefficient is not a 1, so that tells us that we're going to factor by the product sum method. So I'm going to multiply the first and the last terms here, just the numbers. 4 times 15 would give us, um, let's see, 60. And now we're going to think of factors of 60, and we're going to stop when we get a combination of 23. So let's see, 1 times 60 is 60, 2 times 30, that won't work, 3 times 20, oh, that'll work. 3 times 20 will work if the 3 is negative and the 20 is negative. So let's make sure. Minus 3 minus 20 is minus 23. And when I multiply these, negative 3 times negative 20 gives me a positive 60. So this is the right combination. We're going to use this to rewrite that middle term. So I'm going to write 4x squared, but instead of negative 23rs, I'm going to use negative 3rs and minus 20rs plus 15s squared. Now we have four terms, and for four terms we factor by grouping. So we're going to split this down the center and look at the first two terms. In the first two terms we have a common r that we can factor out. So when we factor out the r, we're left with 4r minus 3s. Now remember, we want to factor a common factor out of the last two terms, and we want to end up with a 4r minus 3s as our other factor. So what do I have to multiply to 4r to get negative 20rs? That would be a negative 5s and negative 5s times negative 3s would be positive 15s squared. So that is the correct um, factor to pull out. Now we have a common factor of 4r minus 3s. So when we factor that out of both of these, in the first term we're left with an r, and in the second term we're left with a minus 5s. So this is the factorization.